and welcome to this overview of a technique we've been developing in advanced roadmaps to allow teams to track multiple projects and, and value streams of work as you would normally expect across multiple projects and forecast in advanced roadmaps but at the same time relate that same work to another hierarchy of um, strategic objectives and key results and then using the relationships to be able to express or visualize the work in terms of those OKRs in advanced roadmaps. I'll just show you the components of the solution to start. Now in this in this window here we have the plans that are used. There's two plans, they look at the same information but from different um, with different perspectives. The work plan with OKR surfacing, that's that's the traditional work hierarchy um, which tracks all of the epics and stories initiatives and programs and I'll show you that in a second and then the KPI and OKR relationships plan is another plan that allows us to define our group objectives and um, ladder those down to tribe and, and squad or, or team level objectives and similarly with group key results. The, hier the hierarchy we're using is split into two effectively one is the work tracking and um, visualization one, program down to initiative, down to epic, and then stories and tasks. But in parallel, we're also able to have group key results, which are broken down into tribe key results and the squad key results that deliver upon them. We're then able to relate the work to that each team is doing to the squad key result that it is delivering upon. Now these in turn through issue links that I'll show you shortly, um, actually allow the, the squad key results and tribe key results to also relate to the objectives that these um, key results are used as measures to determine whether we've delivered on this objective. So there's actually several hierarchies represented here. Now I'll show you this in, in advanced roadmaps. So on the left we have the work plan and on the right we have the strategic OKR plan. Now in the, in the left here you're going to see a very traditional program, very genericized data of course, program down to initiative with epics. We see we have two programs here and multiple initiatives themselves with epics and stories within them. Now we haven't scheduled them or broken them into sprints or anything like that. Now you can, you can see an example of something like this on a board like this which could be, well be for one of the tribes or one of the value streams that was contributing epics and stories to this board. You can see it's all broken into sprints and estimated. That's how we would normally see it. For the purposes of this, we're using a much more simplified project as a source, which has the um, OKRs and the stories and epics all in one. But, uh, but this is the, um, the key focus is the relationships and the OKR surfacing. So inside the um, right-hand plan here, the KP KPIs and OKR relationships, we've got two, two different views. The one you're seeing now shows us the tribe key results down to squad key results, and then initiatives and epics. And the reason for this is we're showing work in the same plan as the OKRs because we need to relate them. But first, we set up our actual OKR our tree structure. Um, we have our group objectives, tribe objectives and squad objectives, and you can see we've laddered these down. We have um, two overall group objectives. We also have group key results here, which are devolving into tribe key results and the squad key results that deliver upon them. So we're able to ladder these and relate them. Now, what about though, when a group key result contributes or is one of the measures that is used to determine whether or not we've successfully achieved a group objective? That's what I'm talking about with this in the hierarchy. If we look here, a group objective actually has group key results that deliver on it. We use issue links inside the plan to represent this and you can see these effectively they're dependencies but we're using them for a special um, in a special way right here you can see that we've created a dependency between group objective one down to group key result one and if we wanted to drag another one we can actually do this to another group key result and we could say group key result two is also delivering on group objective one we won't do that right now but we could similarly you can see in here that tribe key result one is actually delivering upon tribe objective one which is actually up here it's not technically in the same hierarchy but we're using issue links to represent it now you don't have to be get fancy and do it in the plan you can see at any time just go into the issue itself and we can see the group objective two has these tribe objectives direct children delivering on it but also group key result it's a, it's a linked issue parent of and so we can add all of the key results that deliver on this objective so we can add all 
of the key result relationships to the group objectives that, that they deliver upon through this flat relationship here directly in JIRA if we want inside the tickets. We're just using the linked issues. You can see here we have group objective 2 that is being delivered upon by group key result 2. And this relationship in the linked issues here represents this. Okay, why is that helpful and what does it allow us to do? What this in turn allows us to do is we use a, an automated solution that we've built to, to parse and interpret those relationships and to see where, for example, we've said that, okay, well, squad key result 3 is delivered upon by EPIC 3. We're then able to populate labels automatically inside the work plan. And I'll show you an example of these right here behind the scenes that allow us to then use the natural advanced roadmaps group by feature to then show us, for example, another view where we can look at the same work hierarchy, but now we're able to see the programs and initiatives and epics that deliver on each particular tribe objective based upon the relationships we've already established inside the plan. If we change the relationships, such as change, for example, an epic um, that delivers on it in a different initiative that in turn perhaps um, an epic may may deliver on a different key result, a different squad key result that may change the objectives it delivers on as well. Well, the automated solution clears these relationship labels and re repopulate them and then allows us to, in turn, revisualize the changed relationships here. But as you can see in this left hand, left hand screen, we can see that program two um, actually and delivers on tribe objective two and tribe objective three through different epics. So program two is actually delivering on um, pro tribe objective three via uh, epic four, epic three and epic four on, on tribe objective two by epic two. Whereas tribe objective one is being primarily delivered upon by um, program one, initiative one and epic one there. Obviously, we have um, very conveniently curated this example to make it easy to follow, but real work examples, this, this view would actually show different portions of programs that are contributing to each objective. And also with fields such as progress by um, in, in here, you would actually be able to see laddering up um, what, how far towards achieving these objectives we were. Additionally, inside these views, we're able to set them up so that they group by, and you'll see how these are grouped by right now. We can create multiple views that in turn allow the work hierarchy to be grouped by um, key results at the squad or the tribe or the group level. Now in this example also, you'll notice that we are actually coloring by a group objective. So we have a couple of different um, group objective level um, colors denominated. One and we've called one pineapple and we've called one grapes, but obviously we, we could use multiple ways um, to do that. And we can then also additionally, based on labels that are, can be automatically generated, we can also color and group in the same view and thus surface in multiple dimensions how a standard work hierarchy relates to your OKR framework that you're able also to manage in JIRA and advanced roadmaps. Okay, that's a lot to um, absorb, um, but we do have demonstrations available that you can actually get and have a look at. And also we'd be glad to set up a time where we can show you in person and screen share. Thank you very much.